What is up, everybody? Welcome to my first observation commentary gameplay. So, if you guys have never seen this t thing done before, I actually watched this a long time ago in Dawn of War 2, if I recall. There's this channel that basically has a whole bunch of players who play against each other in like 1v2s, or not 1v2s, 2v2s, 3v2s, uh, and 1v1s in Dawn of War 2, because that game is built in a competitive um, lane point holding um game mode you you have to see the gameplay i'll leave a link into the description to show you what it look what what that what it looks like so you guys can get an idea of what i was trying to do this in this um gameplay but basically tournament style now nobody in this game actually knows i was recording but they probably do know i was watching because it was well i joined right when they were playing the game so, I like to thank these people uh, who didn't know I was recording for providing me with such amazing content. I, I'm i not a pro player, just to let you guys know. I bought this game during the summer sale because I thought it was interesting. It looked good, and I like RTSs, and I'd like to thank these people for being in the background and actually showing me how what it what, oh, oh, all the uh, tactics and how to be actually a better player because I think I learned a lot from this because um, if you've seen my competitive um, yeah I suck <laughs> so um a lot so watching this con these guys play kind of actually helped me out I think so this is a free-for-all match I hope you guys enjoyed it or enjoy this content I actually want to do more of it and I will be posting this video on Steam. This is the first video I will be posting on Steam. Um, so if you're from the Steam community, or Steam, if you're seeing it on Steam, please go to my channel on YouTube, The Hutchie, which I think you can do that through the Steam. I don't know. I've never done this before. But I'll be doing it today for this video. And go hit the subscribe button, and also hit the video, hit the like button, and share it to whoever you whoever out there show it share it to an rts player there are many rts channels on youtube that you can share this game to and then tell them to come play it and try it out and i'd love to to uh play well play with people because i kind of was trying to play multiplayer today because i was just playing ai mainly to get a hold of the game get a feeling i also will be playing the campaign on this so just gonna put that out there for this channel um, so yeah, please hit the like button, please hit the subscribe button, and please share the video, and show your support to this game, I think it's really good, I like it, uh, it's addicting, in fact, I kind of, my competitive, I f felt like I got addicted, I do wish there was a, a better, stronger community, and I understand why there's not much of a strong, strong community, because it's a very challenging RTS that kind of, it, it's unique, and I think... This game needs more attention because it's really good. It's really good. Please enjoy, like the video and tell me if you want to see more of this because I actually had fun doing this. I actually enjoyed it. You know, kind of my first time ever doing this kind of thing. And yeah, again, tell me if you want to see more. I'll do another one. And if you guys want, like this video, and you guys actually play the game, please let me know if you're going to play a game against 2v2 or anything, because I would love to do this for you guys. Um, so, yeah. Have a great time watching this video, because I had fun, well, making it. This is actually one of the most fun videos I've had in a while to make, or, you know. See ya. Okay, this is pretty cool. The spectator mode in this dude. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, so. Just to so let you know, I am not uh, in this game. I am just spectating it. And I thought this was kind of cool. I think I should just add this to the gameplay. But uh, I am not doing anything, as you can see. This is multiplayer. Um. Looks like people. Looks like they're just choosing stuff, and they they might actually be coordinating with one another, or they're discussing. I don't know everything, but uh, yeah, this is kind of cool. 
I wish I could type things. So. So if I was pl if I was playing, I would be choosing Squirrel Army, whatever these guys are. That two of these guys, uh, barracks, tunnel, whatever this is, and then a Katusha. Mate, because well, this has a total. One, two, three. Yeah, okay, six. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, and I'll go, go get a skunk. Six. So one person's chose everything and will choose his picks and he's done. I don't know what the other two are doing, but they're, uh, I guess they're strategizing? That or one just ran off to the bathroom and the, <laughs> I, well, the other one ran to the bathroom and the other one's, you know, uh, playing rando generator. Hmm, what should I use? Uh, rando generator, help me out. Um... Like, I wish I could, uh, you know, type, but I, I don't think that's how this works. I'm in spectator mode, just to let you know. This is cool, though. I like this idea. I'm just gonna spectate. Oh, there we go. Guy came back from the bathroom. Huh. So this is the bar. I think, I don't know what that does. I know, I'm guessing that's a landmine. I'm guessing this is some type of wall. Um... And, huh. Okay, so, he either, so he was at the bathroom, I'm guessing. He is, um, he was in rando generator mode, or he's still rando generator mode, or, I don't know. Oh, I, I guess he's playing some type of picky with this. I don't know. So, the way this game works, guys, is... All these guys are pretty much 60, if I recall. I think these guys are all 120 for costing-wise, from building perspective. But when it comes to um, unit creation, because units also cost points. Oh, sorry. These guys all cost 20. Um, the guys right here, they all cost um, 60, the ones in the second row down. And the guys below, the third in the third row, all cost 180 uh, points to create. And the items below that, um, they don't create anything. They just cost uh, 60 to 180, if I recall. Oh, here we go. Rando generator guys yeah, back up. Gee, he picks fast. I wonder how this is going to work out. Oh, here we go. Hey, I used to run with this loadout. Well, not really. I actually did this in my first playthrough when I was playing by myself against AI. Uh, I was trying to, you know, test the waters, guys, before I actually recorded this, recorded gameplay. <clears throat> I wish you could do, um, I wish you could really do, like, pin these guys against each other. I don't really understand why you have different fraction. Wait, I have to do. Maybe there's a workshop mod that allows that, because you know it'd be pretty fun uh, to change your color, in my opinion. Because um, it would be pretty unique, you know. You have you have your team of quartermaster, and you have your team of um, whatever the rebel guy are, the red person, which I think. Yeah, and then you have your blue army. You know, it'd be pretty cool. Whatever. Ideas, man. Just ideas. Um. I feel like I'm in some type of intermission. Oh, there we go. So this is unranked, just to let you guys know. Uh. Alright, so, how does this work? Oh, space the commanders. X to toggle visibility. Oh, okay. So we're gonna play like this. I think. I'll, actually, no, I'll do what he has to see. There we go. We're gonna change commanders. So, red! 
is currently constructing. Uh, it's just sitting at their base, uh, playing with the factories. Blue is just sitting by, doing nothing. And green is running around exploring the map. Currently aggravating uh, blue and red, I guess. Scouting, I guess, uh, mainly. Um, blue currently is just, I guess, gathering resources. Alright. Green is, seems to be the only one active right now. Um, red, oh, red is active now. Red is currently building a... Oh, trying to set up a new real mill, and green scouting out. Uh, blue still is just sitting there. Um, I wonder what his strategy is. Green and well, green and red are having some fun. Um, looks like red, <laughs> red just chased them away. Oh, wait, did I just see blue do something? Ah, oh, blue is setting up a windmill. He's scaring away the enemy already by just running at them. Dude, blue can actually... Blue is dominate... Oh, no, green is do Green and blue are trying to take the map points. Every map in the point. If you guys aren't aware, you have the way you win this game is by constructing and building these farms. Resources deplete and will take up... Um, resource As the game dwindles down, it's whoever has the most food will win the game. Um, who is up? Green is currently at with one farm, unable to build anything on it. And red is currently expanding as well at the farm, and they are is she, they are building turrets. And wait, 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 hold on a second. I'll put red appears to be putting down a hot air balloon gun turret. Blue is still constructing. It is he is farming out, as we can see, along with green. He is having a fight with green in the in the food source game. He he is trying to take all the resources on the map. Blue and green. Red seems to be sitting by and doing nothing. Allowing blue to gr and green to take resources on the map. This is a unique game. I have I, I have never... This is my first time watching this, but this is unique. Um, green is finally placing squirrel off squirrel barracks on the map. And it's actually going to be building units. While red has no units and blue has no units, they are right now playing a long-term resource battle. Green, I believe, will be trying to take farms on the map he appears to be placing landmines on the map that's interesting wow I didn't know they could they cost 20 I wonder how much damage they do oh anyways red is currently building more air defenses and red is finally placing units on the map as well we have three barracks no no four barracks and green has three oh wow Green has almost an entire, has multiple barracks. Now, granted, he has no units on the map, except for three squirrels. Uh, red has the, the advantage to have more squirrels on the map. But blue, on the other hand, he has an army of troops currently on the map. Or uh, not map. Uh, he has an army of farms. So basically, red and green will have to take the farms from blue. In the long run, blue is playing a game of attrition. Blue strategy seems to be to um, be hold down, take as many farms as possible at the beginning of the game, so he can dominate the resources and then push on the push on everyone else. Basically, collect the most money. Red has now begun to take more farms and will now encounter enemy. Wait, hold on. Green and blue appear to be fighting each other. Uh, blue is now building tons of squirrel barracks, um, but green is engaging red to defend his farm. For he is not giving this farm up. I wonder who where Green and Blue will go against first. Will it be Red or will it be Blue or or will Red and Green work together? Who knows? First time I'm doing commentary. This is a pretty, this is pretty good, guys. Right? Like I sound pretty good. Um, Melon C Soda. I'm gonna just say the names. Uh, Melon Soda is a currently holding the line against red who is trying to advance on his farm um petrus yuri yuri is currently holding and attacking the farm what is blue doing what is carno carno i think i said that right carno is currently just sitting at his base uh building up our holy smokes he's got 33 bear he's got a total of 11 barracks people 11 meaning he is building an army of squirrels squirrels are the cheap one of the, as part of the cheap units in this game they are 20 they cost 20 food to produce they cost 60 to build the, the bunkers 
but currently he is massing an army of these weak units, but can he win? Can he win doing that? Uh, it is unknown. Uh, currently, Green actually has the advantage. He has stronger units, he has weaker units, but not like Blue, who is just cranking out on the, on the low tier units. What is this? Apparently he's going for more higher tier units with birds and air, air attacks. Um, currently he has not gone any higher than that. Blue apparently is trying, is now placing more. He, wow, he's just building a, he's, he just built a line. That's interesting. Red and green are just having fun with each other, attacking one another. Why would you place those there? I don't know. Uh, red and blue green are in current combat. They are in a, a, a basically a stalemate. It appears. Um. You're, oh, actually, my bad. I'm not saying the names. Um. Soda, Soda, and Yuri are not having fun. They are currently whole fighting one another on a annoying on a on an unruly battle. What? It appears Kerno is now taking his fight to. Soda. Soda is now engaging Karn, uh, Kano. Kano. And he has successfully taken the fight that uh, Yuri has been fighting for. He has destroyed the farm that Mel Soda has been holding for a very long time. And now he's engaging Yuri. Yuri is now engaging Kerno. This is interesting. Whoop. It appears Kerno is destroying Yuri's bases. Uh, squirrel fat bit homes, which now his forces are nothing. Yuri appears to be have, have just wait, Yuri's destroying a farm. No, no, it is Soda who's destroying a farm. Soda is, is um, Yuri's retreating back to oh, back to his base. Soda is on the rise, man. Soda's about to win. He's taking out Yuri out of the game as Yuri is fighting Karno. This was a turn of events. He waited for the right move, and he has the strongest forces on the map. And currently, he is going to take the, the area. Yuri has one place, uh, one area left. And it appears Yuri is making a desperate attempt to hopefully get enough resources and try and build a new location. As of right now, Yuri is... <laughs> Pierce <laughs> Soda is about to knock Yuri off the map. It is GG for Yuri. Yuri has been sent to the kitchen. Now, all that less rests on the map is Kerno and Soda. Soda, who will win? Uh, currently, Kerno has the most um, bases for the squirrels, which are the one, of the one of the weakest troops on the map, but yet they are pretty powerful in mass. But Soda has an advantage. Soda has practically higher powerful troops, uh, more powerful troops on the battlefield. He has eight, um, I don't know what those are, Bur eagle creatures? I have no idea what they do. Um, then we have the artillery unit, barrage unit, which do damage to, to a group or a mass of troops. Uh, he, Soda and Colonel are now engaging one another. Colonel has fallen. He will have to be respawning. And that is a 30 to a, a 10 second respawn. Actually, 5 second respawn. And now is losing structures. If, if Soto plants a new base right here in this location, he has the advantage. In fact, can produce more units. All right. Actually, no, he can put defenses there. As it stands, I don't know. Can Colonel actually hold out? against your soda is soda going to win <laughs> folks i have to say soda is actually going to win it appears kerno was no match either the ksr will feast the army as we can see green produced the most troops out of well actually green blue and green were on the highest for troops and the income green Blue at the beginning of the game had a high rise, and then green took the stage with a soaring number of troops. What a game, folks. Soda won. Congratulations to Soda. And all the others who participated in this fight. Actually, this is kind of fun to watch. <laughs> like and subscribe as usual. We'll see you next time on the next unranked match gameplay we watch. <laughs>
like to welcome everyone back to round two, it appears. S Melon, Soda, <laughs> and Yuri and Carmel are back at it again with another round. It appears Car Soda and uh, Yuri are kind of on the same load out here. Yuri is going for squirrels and cannon guys and s b eagle bird creatures and ground turrets. However, Soda is doing something different. He's doing... S He's doing the same as last game, squirrels, cannon, bird, but he's going for the boar, a flamethrower unit that can basically devastate the battlefield, and even all units. His health is insane, 100 if I recall, and he can destroy structures within a matter of seconds. Carno is going different as well. He has ground turrets, he is going for squirrels, he is going for, it appears the um, lizard guy throwing knives, um, eagles. Skunks who have the ability to launch poisonous gas, basically um, uh, tear gas or whatever. And I have no idea what the other unit is using, but it appears to be some type of melee unit. Which Yuri is going with too. And Yuri is going for a more defensive route this time. He's got more, he's got machine gun turns, and he's got mortar. He's got mortars. Will he win this time? I don't know. Soto was the last Victorian, and he, here he is using barbed wire, air balloon. Oh, no, mind. He's changing his mind. He's sticking with the boar. He's sticking with the most powerful flame unit on the battlefield, the flamethrower. Now, he is an expensive unit. Very expensive. Here we go, everybody. Round two has commenced. So, Soda is in, and as we can see, he's off to a start of just building out his farm. Um, oh, hold on, let me change the, uh, there we go. Currently, Yuri is just sitting at his base like last time. Karno is expanding out and is building and taking farms as we speak, like his last strategy, but he's actually way closer to, um, Oda. So, Soda appears to be also, uh, checking his surroundings. It appears Yuri is on the move and is now hunting around, um, trying to figure out what's going on. As it looks, he is going to be taken out by the piggies, pig farmers, and he is gone. Now he's got a 10 second respawn. Um, Soda is currently just hanging around his base. Oh no, 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 he's, 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 he's messing with Keno. Keno, who has expanded once again with a fast pull on all the farms. Um... He's now messing with Yuri, and it occur so far, no one has built anything. Oh, no, what is this? Yuri has just built a bunker. Bunker turret to defend his base. I guess he's tired of Soda coming in and screwing with him. Um, Kerno just owns mills on the map and currently is not doing anything. Um, as it stands, Soda is, just is now building defensive... Ooh, he's using barbed wire. I have no idea what Barbara has does, but it has to be it has to do something. But he is oh, it must be a wall. He's building a wall of barbed wire, and it is I I don't know his strategy here, but if his strategy works out and he wins once again, I have to hand it to him, man. He is really good at this game. What is he built? He is now building landmines. Landmines, I don't know how they worked out from last time. We don't know how that worked out, but it, it must have worked in his favor. Uh, as we can see, so, oh, oh, it appears Karno is trying to antagonize Yuri. But Yuri doesn't seem to mind because he has, because Yuri has a defensive turret bunker holding the line. So no messing with him. Um, what else here? So, Soda appears to be, I don't believe Soda has the edge here, but, oh, no, Soda may have the edge now. He is now building squirrel barracks as we speak. Soda is now, oh, he's, he's rallying, he's rallying. He, when, once he gets units, he will rally upon that bunker, which is a trying to take out his mill, it appears. He's trying to, oh. Smart move. Smart move, Soda. Soda is decapped on his mill and is now waiting and rallying his troops to engage. 
And now he, now Yuri is tempting and trying to mess with Soda. Soda, I have no idea. He has the resources as we speak. He could build right now a boar with a flinter, which will be a huge advantage on the map. And practically can wipe out Yuri in a matter of seconds if he constructs it. <gasps> oh, Yuri is building units. He, oh, and he has constructed the bull race. Uh, he is constructing as we speak. He is rallying forces. He is going to be holding the high on the line. As we speak, he is holding and he, we don't know how, I don't know how this will work, but if he plays his cards right, he may actually win. Um, Yuri just is trying to take out Soda this time. I, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, we have problems as we speak. Yuri might be in trouble. He is now being engaged by Karno, who has basically a bunch of squirrel units and now is building a defensive bunker right on top of him. This is interesting. This is an interesting play. As we as we see right now, it appears that Yuri and Soda may actually have to may actually uh, uh oh actually maybe Yuri I have to just pull back because as it seems Soda has the advantage. He has mortar units that are bombarding the bunkers. Basically, his bunkers are going to be destroyed and the mill will fall as well. However, it appears Yuri as now. Uh, I, nope. Wait, where's Yuri? Oh no, really? Yuri's uh, weaker forces have rallied and are now pushing Soda because he has no small units to really put against a fight. Oh, that hurts him. That hurts your Soda. Soda is now, as we speak, his boar is almost done, and his boar of devastation is about to come in. This is a big play. If Soda gets his. Uh, boar, here he is. The boar is on the battlefield, and now he's about to tear through Yuri like nothing as we speak. Yuri is good as gone. His base, Yuri appears to be trying to decap. Oh. Oh, yeah. The mill has been taken. Now, Yuri is falling back as now the boar is on the battlefield, destroying and taking points. Uh, Soda's main guy is Rally Flag is taking a lot of damage. Um, he's pretty low on health. Um, but if he put if he backs up the boar, the boar heals a bit. Uh, he should be able to have. Oh, oh, what is this? What's he doing? What's he doing? Oh, Yuri is in big trouble as we sp as I speak. He has just been basically taken out by Karno. I should have been flipping back. My fault. I missed the whole thing. But right now, Karno has snapped Yuri back into reality. And now Yuri is now on the defense. Yuri is on the loss as we speak. In fact, Kur Soda is now inflicting the pain upon, upon Yuri. Because Yuri can was messing with him the whole time. If he had only been focusing upon Karno, he would have been able to keep his mill safer. But as we speak right now, I don't know. As right as we see right now, it appears Yuri is trying to build a line of defense. Um he is building barbed wire walls to defend his mill. To keep Car Karno has just knocked out Yuri. Oh wait. Yuri is about to be knocked out of the game as we speak Yuri is out Yuri is on the verge in 38 seconds he is oh no wait Yuri is trying to stay in the game look at this folks he has just spent his points on if he is able to decap his old mill if he de oh no he's unable to until that mill is constructed Yuri will is unable to decap Oh. Okay. As we see here, um, Soda is now pushing upon. Well, not pushing, but he is showing Colonel. Colonel. Uh, Car. I cannot. I cannot say this guy's name right. I may have butchered him. Yuri is out of the game. He has been officially knocked out. As we speak. But right now, it appears that. Mel Soda Melon has the advantage, for he has a big, strong unit type on the plane of the field of battle, which can tear units apart, and it can devastate enemy structure structures to even fought mills themselves. Right now, Karno Kuno is in a uh, Kano is in a pickle. I'm 
butchering this guy's name, I'm pretty sure. As we can see, soda melon, uh, melon soda's unit has just devastated the entire army of Kano. However, and he has retreated. I don't understand why he retreated, but I guess he's trying to plant more fields to get more ammo. Or not ammo, uh, resources, so he can construct, um, ooh, more, more bird cages. I do not think that is a smart play. I would construct more squirrels or even more mortar teams. Oh, yes, I was, he is constructing now mortar teams. Um, as of right now, I think he should also be spending units on, uh, points on another boar. In which he can double up on his attack with two boars doing double the damage on Yuri. Or not Yuri, Kurno. Once again, in this game, same as the last, Yuri was knocked out and Soda and Kano were left to fight one another. Who will win this time? Last time it was uh, Soda Melon, uh, Melon Soda, who had the upper hand and had the victory. Oh, it appears so. It appears Kano has broken through Soda Melon's line and has destroyed a mill. As it looks now, he's targeting his. Never mind, Soda. Soda is pushing him back, and he's chasing him, and he's chasing him. He has the upper hand if Soda is able to knock out this mill. In fact, this is actually, actually, Kano is in a disadvantage. Kur Kur Kano is about to lose. He is currently in a huge disadvantage because if he loses this mill, he practically loses the game. He is exhausted on resources and desperately needs to protect that mill and the mill has fallen he has one mill with actual resources left as we speak i don't know actually three extra except he has only one man oh one individual working oh he has another mill it appears soda melon is still has the most resources on the battlefield and can dominate and that is what he is intending to do soda is going to knock out the competition right now when while he has the upper hand as we can see carno is starving his force the game is over he fought hard and he did his best but in the end soda melon held his ground pushed hard and won this fight the game is set congratulations soda grab the victory it is time to win <laughs> this is kind of fun i actually like this announcer thing what do you guys think of this content so far do you guys like the whole announcer segment thing i'm doing with this i personally love it um i think this is interesting i find this is fun uh, hit the like button if you really like this video content as we can see soda once again soar through the top and crush the competition uh, Income he still he put it out pretty low as a low baller and still crushed the competition soda congratulations Congratulations Wow